Namaskar, welcome to the lecture series of food technology. In today's lecture, I am going to present the lecture on the topic bottling food products. The topics divided into the following five sections, introduction, new challenges of bottling food products, bottling or canning basics for preserving food, bottling or canning equipment and conclusion. Introduction. Eating is a basic activity of the human species and the type of food is strongly connected with the natural resources of each region. With the passing of time, food type has become part of the culture around the nations. The so-called Mediterranean diet has gained great prestige in recent years. Numerous studies point out that people in the Mediterranean region have a lower tendency to suffer from certain illness. The preserved foodstuff that are considered within the scope of this survey are relatively modern type of food. Right from the beginnings of the evolution, man has always looked for ways to preserve food resources that nature offers the superabundance during certain periods and denies in others. Salting, curing, smoking and dehydrations were all discovered in time, but all these processes slightly modified the characteristics of the original fresh food. To overcome these issues, bottled or canned foods are great contribution of 18th century to the world of food. They completely modify the range of food that is available. All of a sudden, meat, fish and vegetables can be preserved for weeks and months in a states that is a very similar to its original form. Canned food symbolized a revolution for those in a charge of provisioning an army or a crew on board ship during the long voyages. As a result of new technologies that have appeared, canned food no longer has this basic function of feeding certain populations in advanced societies and today they are just one more type of food in the wide range of foodstuffs that are available. While the basic technology for producing canned food has increased during recent years, the equipment and installations designed for this function have undergone variations together with the type and materials of the container used. Bottling and canning process with preservatives is a very important in food manufacturing industries. The process involves cooking fruits or vegetables, sealing them in sterile cans or jars and boiling the containers to kill any remaining bacteria as a form of pasteurization. High acid fruits like strawberries require no preservatives to bottle and only a sort of boiling cycle. Whereas boiling and addition of other acidic elements. Food preserved by canning or bottling is at immediate risk of spoilage once the can or bottle has been opened. New challenges of bottling of food products. The new challenges in the future that the food industry must face and resolve quickly lie in taking hold system of bottling in food production. The use of renewable forms of energy that do not reduce the planet's limited energy reserves. The use of resources and raw materials that are renewable are subjected to safe recovery processes. No emission or disposal of any substances that modifies or deteriorates the natural environment and the life forms that develops in it. Do not produce any product whose consumption may cause a decreases in natural reserves or cause the deteriorations or modification of the natural environment. The Regional Activity Center for Cleaner Production of the Mediterranean Action Plan has made this study on pollution prevention in food canning processes in the Mediterranean region. Its objective is to gather relevant data to provide information on the environmental impact of food canning or bottling activities in the Mediterranean region. 
and mainly to present opportunities that can be applied for preventing pollution in this sector. There are substantial differences between what is conventionally known as canned food that is a food stuff preserved in a can or a glass jar and what preserved food is in technical terms. General do's and don'ts for canning or bottling high quality special products. Market tests your processed product on a small scale by providing simple to your fresh produce customers. Start with only the best quality, freshest ingredients. Use only high quality containers and food grade caps, liners for the proper seal. Salt and wash thoroughly before chopping or slicing pre-eating. Follow recommended procedures for pre-treatments such as blanching that is make white or remove color, peeling, seeding or coring to ensure high quality. Leave enough head space when filling containers. Measure acidity to determine the proper processing methods to use. Make sure canned or bottled products are processed at the proper temperature and preserved for the recommended length of time. Adjust processing times for food products uses in different altitude. Add 5 minutes to boiling water bath times for altitude from 3001 to 6000 feet. 10 minutes for altitude from 6001 to 8000 feet. For altitudes over 100 feet, increase the pressure and processing via pressure canners. Follow the safety practices to prevent food safety problems during processing. Work with a reputable co-packers to process produce if you are unwilling to make the investment necessary to ensure high quality and food safety. Store products in a cool, dark place. Check containers to make sure a vacuum seal in present. Signs that products have spoiled include broken seals, seepage, mold, yeast growths, gassiness, fermentation, spalting liquid when jars is opened, slimness, cloudiness, and disagreeable odors. Next. Canning basics for preserving food. Canning is an important safe method for preserving food must be stabilized properly. The canning process involves placing food in a jars or similar containers and heating them to a temperature that destroy microorganisms that cause food to spoil. During this heating process, Air is driven out of the jar and as it cools to a vacuum seal is formed. This vacuum seal prevents air from getting back into the product bringing with it contaminating microorganisms. Safe canning methods are water bathing method and pressure bottling method. Water bathing method, bottles filled in water bath generally covering the bottles by 2 to 3 cm and eating the contents with hot water for a prescribed time. The boiling water bath method is safe for tomatoes, fruits, jams, jellies, pickles and other preservers. In this method, jar of food are heated completely covered with boiling water and cooked for a specified amount of time. The water bathing method is not suitable for herbs, garlic, low acidic tomatoes or any vegetables. This also means that you should not add herbs, onions or garlic to tomatoes to process via water bathing method. Water bath preservers can find in both electric and stove top varieties. Stove top units include the ball preserving kit and all pressure canners can also be used as stove top units by removing the pressure regulator on the top of the unit. Currently, pressure canners are only available in stove top versions. They are not suited 
to use on glass top stoves or induction cookers. They can be used on outdoor gas burners in those cases. Pressure bottling or pressure canning is the only safe method of preserving vegetables, meats, poultry and seafood. Jars of food are placed in 2 to 3 inches of water in a special pressure cooker which is heated to a temperature of at least 240 degree Fahrenheit. This temperature can only be reached by using the pressure method. A microorganism called Clostridium botulinum is the main reason why pressure processing is necessary. Though the bacterial cells are killed at boiling temperatures, they can form spores that can withstand these temperatures. The spores grow well in low acid foods in the absence of air such as in canned low acidic foods like meat and vegetables. When the spores begin to grow, they produce the deadly botulinum toxins. The only way to destroy these spores is by pressure cooking the food at a temperature of 240 degree Fahrenheit or above for a specified amount of time depending on the type of food and altitude. Food that are low acidic have a pH of more than 4.6 and because of the danger of botulism they must prepared in pressure canner. The low acidic food include meat, seafood, poultry, dairy products, all vegetables. High acid foods have a pH of 4.6 or less and contain enough acid so that the Clostridium botulinum spores cannot grow and produce their deadly toxin. High acidic food can be safely canned using the boiling water bath method. The high acidic food includes fruits, pickled vegetables, certain foods like tomatoes and figs that have a pH value close to 4.6 need to have acid added to them in order to use the water bath method. This is accomplished by adding lemon juice of citric acid. Next, bottling or canning equipment, water bath canners. A water bath canner is a large cooking pot with a tight fitting lid and a wire or wooden rack that keeps jars from touching each other. The track allows the boiling water to flow around and underneath jars for a more even processing of the contents. The rack also keeps jars from bumping each other and cracking or breaking. If rack is not available, clean cotton dish towel or similar can can be used to pack around jars. If a standard canner is not available, any large metal canners may be used as long as it is deep enough for 1 to 2 inches of brisky boiling water to cover the jars. The diameter of the canners should be no more than 4 inches wider than the diameter of your stove's burner to ensure proper heating of the jar. Using a wash kettle that fits over two burners is not recommended because the middle jars do not get enough heat. For an electric range, the canner must have a flat bottom. Outdoor fire pits with a solid grate will also work, however, close attention is required to ensure proper boiling temperature. Jars Mason jars and ball jars specifically designed for home canning are best. Commercial mayonnaise jars Baby food and pickle jars should not be used. The mouths of the jar may not be approved for sealing lids and the jars are not made with a heavy glass and they are not heat treated. Jars come in a variety of sizes from off paint jars to off gallon jars. Pint and quart balls jars are the most commonly used sizes and are available in regular and wide mouth tops. If properly used, jars 
may be reused indefinitely as long as they are kept in good condition. Atlas jars should not be used for home preserving and canning. Jar lids Most canning jars sold today use a two pieces of self-sealing lid which consist of a flat metallic disc with a rubber type sealing command around one side near the outer heads and a separate screw type metal band. The flat lid may only be used once but the screw band can be used over a as long as it is cleaned well and does not begin to rust. Canning utensils, helpful items for home canning and preserving. Jar lifters, essential for easy removal of hot jars. Jar funnel, helps in pouring and packing of liquids and small food items into canning jars. Lid van, magnetized van for removing treated jar lids from hot water. Clean cloths, handy to have for wiping jar rims, spills and general cleanup. Knives for preparing food. Narrow flat rubber spatula for removing trapped air bubbles before sealing jars. Timer or clock for accurate food processing time. Hot pads cutting board. There are also many special utensils available like apple slicers, cutting spoons for coring and pit removal, corn cutters and fruit skinners. Home recipes. When looking for advice and information on preserving food, try to avoid old pamphlets, outdated cookbooks, untrained celebrities and undocumented food shows on TV. Your best source for current information on research and processing instructions are publications made by the US, Food and Agriculture Department College, Cooperative Extension Services and major food processing equipment manufacturers. Most canned products are filled with hot sweet syrup solutions, brines or sauces that must be at the highest possible temperature at the time that the container is being filled. The helps to optimize the sterilization process because the containers starts at an initially high temperature and at the same time it helps to eliminate air from the headroom in the container. In the case of vegetables, a 2% brine solution with a small quantity of sugars to enhance the flavor is used. Most fruit is preserved in syrup. This sweetens the fruits and at the same time helps to keep the textures firm and prevents the loss of color that could occur due to degradation of anthocyanic pigments. This process only generates wastewater for cleaning. Once the containers have been washed, they are uniformly filled with appropriate quantity of the product in order to expel any unwanted gases, especially oxygen. Here a covering liquid is added that can be brine, a sauce, juice or syrup according to the type of preserved food. Different types of canning equipment exist on the market ranging from semi-automatic to automatic ones. Although for products like asparagus, filling has to be done by the end. Solid or liquid fillers are normally used for products that come in pieces such as runner beans and broad beans and that are covered with a juice. The containers are put into the machine on a small conveyor belt and are transformed directly to the solids filler added by the synchronized feeder. The container is filled with the preset amount of products while it moves and then goes to the liquid filler head. The containers is filled with the preset amount of product while it moves and then goes to the liquid fill head with containers positioned on lifting platforms in the filling position. Here there are gravity filled and space left for predetermined headroom gap. 
piston or plunger fillers consist of cylindrical tank with extended measures rollers where the product is drained as a tank revolves. Once the containers are filled and before they are sealed, they are preheated to eliminate any air trapped inside of the containers so that there is a partial vacuum that prevents alterations occurring during storage and reduce the sterilization time. At the time of pressure inside the containers is reduced during the period of sterilization. In the case of some acid foodstuffs such as tinned fruit, hydrogen gets produced in the can as a result of acid attacking the steel base of the tin plate. Once enough hydrogen is produced, the container can burst unless sufficient space has been left. Another possibility is for the filling of the product or control juice to be hot packed, which is the case especially with the small sized containers. The application of jets of steam is necessary here during sealing. Heat treatment is the most important operation in the process of manufacturing canned products. It is an operation in which the food stuff is added to a sufficiently high temperature and during a sufficiently long period of time to destroy all microbial and enzymatic activity in the food and it also lengthens the life of the product. Nicholas Appert was the first person to try out the sterilization process in 1809 by preparing stable preserved food stuffs in sealed glass jars. The system has evolved since then with equipment that is more efficient and enables the applications of much more homogeneous and suitable treatments. Nowadays, the different sterilization techniques are classified into two types in batches and continuously. The difference between these are that the first system works with discontinuous systems autoclaves that make automations of the production line difficult. Whereas, the second system uses continuous sterilization where the product is sent through the different areas at different temperatures that are maintained constant the whole time that the sterilization is being undergone. The second system represents first. The advantages of the first system can be avoided by setting up various parallel autoclaves and a mechanized feeding systems that puts the containers in racks transports them to the autoclave that is ready to begin the operation, puts them into it and once the processing time has finished, takes them out of the autoclave and removes them from the racks. Juices. Fruits are simmered in water or their own juices in stainless steel. Glass pot. When tender, the product is cut into pieces and pressed through a food mill sugar or lemon juices can be added. To taste, the juices must be then be either frozen or canned for storage. Juices can be frozen in jars or freezer container. Most fruit juices can be canned in a boiling water bath for 20 minutes, but apple and grape juices can be processed in hot water. Recent problems with apple juices have led to requirements for labeling on the pasteurization. Apple juice, 24 albis apples, wash apples, drain removes stem and balsam ends, chop and place in a large pot, add water and cook until tender stirring frequently, strain through several layers of cheesecloth into the second pot, eat juice just to boil then fill hot jars, add caps and process in boiling water canners for 10 minutes, yield about 12 of pints. Mango squash, use ripe fruits washed with clean water and dried, squeeze each fruit rolling it between your palms to break the pulp 
then remove the stem and squeeze out the thick pulp and juice. To make 25 percent pulp squash combine 1.75 kg sugar, 40 gram citric acid and 1.25 kg water and bring to boil. Cool and filter through muslin cloth, add 1 kg mango pulp, filter again through a muslin cloth, add 2.9 gram potassium metabisulfate as a preservative and mix thoroughly. Fill clean dry glass bottles leaving about 1 inch at space. Vegetables. Vegetables should be chopped or shredded then simmered for 45 to 50 minutes. The juice can then be pressed or strained from the vegetable pulp and frozen or canned. Canning vegetables juices require processing at 10 pounds of pressure in a pressure canner. Paints should be processed for 55 minutes and quart for 85 minutes. Processed products, pickles and vinegar, the high acid content of pickled vegetables allows use a boiling water bath rather than a pressure calmer and reduce the time required for processing. The salt used for picking is free of additive food in table salt which will cause clouding. Flavored vinegars are so highly acid that no further processing is necessary if vinegar is decanted into sterilization bottle. The sterilized containers fill with hot water place in a pot cover with water and boil for 10 minutes. Canned fish. Canned tuna is a product that is obtained from the corresponding species with practically no scales, blood, skin, or bones. For products to be considered as canned, they are packed in emetic metal tins and appropriately sterilized and stabilized by heat. Canned tuna is presented in vinegar, oil or different types of sauce. Finally, conclusion, bottled or canned food are the great contribution of the 18th century to the world of food. Bottling techniques is highly helpful to transport and utilize hygienic food products in all seasons. Meat, fish and vegetables can be preserved for weeks and months in a state that is very similar to its original form. Canned food symbolized a revolution for those in charge of provisioning an army or a crew on board ship during long voyages. Thank you.